Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Standard Artisan. Bring a standard deck consisting only of commons and uncommons. The following cards are banned. Petitioners, Familiar, Cavalcade and Gates Ablaze. Alright, looks like we're gonna build an adventure deck. So, definitely want our innkeeper. So the base is gonna be green. I guess uh, Lucky Clover, Beanstalk Giant is a good starting point. We can go black with Falmar Knights, uh, Reaper of Knights, Order of Midnight and Smitten Swordmaster. We can go white for Pathlighter, Tactician, Shepherd and Guide Mother. I think those are the main options. I don't think blue or red are super interesting. And looks like we're gonna go Golgari. And I think I'm okay playing the Rose Thorn. Gives us a potential of going turn 2 Lucky Clover, turn 3 uh, Adventure the Acolyte and then make them discard 4 cards. That seems pretty strong. So this is kind of our deck. I could play the Tree Folk. Uh, probably just want to play some removal to round out the deck. Swordmaster, I could easily play fewer copies, but we do have quite a few knights between Falmar, Order of Midnight and the Swordmaster itself. Get to play with Jungle Hollow. Don't know if I want to play Guildgate as well. Might be a necessary evil, but I do have Acolyte and Beanstalk for fixing. Yeah, we could just play Murder. Could play Reef Soul. Could play Opnixil's Cruelty. Can play cheaper removal like this figure or Deadweights. But Cruelty does most of what Murder does and is much easier to cast. So I think I'm leaning Cruelty. I might want to split off Cruelty and some cheaper removal. If we expect opposing Innkeepers that we want to kill for one mana. Yeah, let's go with uh, three cruelties and two disfigures. We'll probably adjust the numbers along the way. I don't know if I need four Reaper of Nights. Might be too many. Not sold on the Acolytes. Could see cutting it. And I don't know if we need 24 lands or if we can play fewer. Maybe go minus one Acolyte, minus one Reaper. And then the mana distribution. 13 green, 15 black. I don't have a ton of green in the deck, but Beanstalk is a three. So I do have a lot of threes, maybe that's a reason to shave some cruelties in favor of an extra disfigure. Maybe go down an acolyte. Probably want 24 land still. Maybe just max out the disfigures. Because I expect a lot of kind of aggressive decks, in which case disfigure is pretty good. Alright, this seems fine. It's probably not perfect, but we can adjust the deck if we notice uh, a trend. What about this hand? It's not exciting. We don't have our Innkeeper or Clover, which are the cards we want to find most of the time. But it's also not unkeepable necessarily. Alright, there's a Clover. Do I need to get the Clover down? I think so. And then I'm probably just going to draw with the Falmar Knight next turn. That way, if they do somehow have a Thought Erasure, we get our Clover in play. And then it's going to be tricky for them to remove. Or a Counterspell. Ooh, Innkeeper. I think I'm still leaning Falmar Knights. And then next turn I can play Innkeeper and play the Knight from Adventureland. Opponent did not fetch with Evolving Wilds, maybe missing Land Drops. Alright, so we'll respond by drawing. And then I don't think I'm gonna need this disfigure. So I can Beanstalk Adventure and then still play Innkeeper plus Innkeeper. Seems good.
This figure might not be a death card if they have, like, some random surveil synergy creatures like the Spy or the the One Drop. Could also adventure the Acolyte, make two mana, play Swordmaster. Maybe that's fine, actually. Yeah, Nightfill Sprite is another creature they could easily have. So, make a black and a green. Right, they do have the cry. That's one reason why I potentially didn't want to run out the knight there in the end. And now I can't get them back with Order of Midnight because they're exiled, so that was pretty good. Can just cast my Beanstalk Giants. I guess that's fine. I think I'll discard one of them, keeping a disfigure in case we do need to kill a random creature like this Enforcer. I guess Cruelty might be an a, a better answer so they don't get the token afterwards. And then just attack for 7. Play the Roast Thorn. I don't necessarily want to play the second Clover if I'm not going to use it. The Nightfell Predator is a good one. So that's maybe going to end up trading for the Beanstalk Giant after I disfigure the Enforcer. They could also chump, but we're pretty happy with the trade here. So I currently have two creatures in the graveyard, so we'll adventure this. Get both back. I could, let's see, four, five, six, I guess I can't cast this, so we'll just adventure it. And then I can cast this. Play Clover. And then Adventure the Swordmaster, although it won't be super effective. But it's probably still fine here. Again, don't want to play it in case of a cry. Then we've got a bit of pressure in play, Beanstalk Giant to replay, and an order in hand to get back some creatures if they die. Alright, they could have a Sinister Sabotage up. Let's find out. Not yet, at least. I'll probably sandbag the jungle hollow in case of campaign. Alright, opponent packs it in, just too much value from the Clover and the Order of Midnight. Right, we got a Merchant of the Veil. This sounds quite good. We've got both the Clover and the Innkeeper. Oh yeah, the alternate art, Order of Midnight, is the best. All 
All right. Opponent appears to be a more controlling deck. I think I'm okay if they counter the adventure, because then they might not counter the other adventures from the Reaper. And I still get my copy. I can adventure my Reaper. Opponent's gonna have to discard something here. And then probably play another Innkeeper. So that gets countered, but they still have to discard too. So this Clover's doing a ton of work. Drown in the lock and a land. Um, so playing another Innkeeper could be bad if they have a Sweeper, but... Seems fine. Alright, well, let's empty their hands. Into the story to refuel first, but yeah, they're gonna have to discard four here, so they get to keep one. Chemist's Inside is one of them. Another counterspell on the wall, discarded. So yeah, that's dead. Alright, I guess we'll draw some cards here. No knights in play, so no point in adventuring. These removal spells probably not too effective in this matchup. Maybe I can kill like a wall that would block otherwise. Opponent's digging. Eh, I can disfigure that one. I am down to 36 cards in library. But if I ever draw my uh, Order of Midnight, I can get a ton of value from all the cards my opponent milled. And they have to pack it in. Well, this adventure deck seems pretty strong. We did have a pretty exceptional opening hand, though, with the Clover Innkeeper and multiple good adventures. And yeah, there we go. Beanstalk Giants. Alternate art. Let's uh, see if we can upgrade our art here. There we go. Looking good. I like the original, but don't mind trying out this one too. Yeah, they do kind of stand out among the rest of the cards. Would be nice if you could have a deck full of these alternate arts, but that seems difficult. So yeah, this hand is not super exciting, no Clover, no Innkeeper, but still probably a keepable hand. I've got some early interaction with this figure. Probably gonna hold the Falmar Knights. So we can adventure first. So I could be a bit more aggressive and play the Order of Midnight as a 2-2. I think I'm gonna keep it to get our heavy hitters back. Since blue-red is typically a bit slower, so we can take our time. Alright, that's a good one. Don't expect my innkeeper to survive, so I could hold it for a turn. But I guess next turn I want to adventure and play this, so that might not work out if I don't draw land. Plus I still have Order of Midnight to get it back. So this seems okay. Alright, so Innkeeper's dead. That's okay. So yeah, I think we're gonna stick to the plan. Falmar Knight draw card, leaving a black mana. 
and just hope to hit our land drops basically. Drawing a forest would be ideal. Think I still cast it? Maybe I should wait. But next turn I can play Innkeeper and play Acolytes. Although I'm pretty likely to draw land as well. Eh, we'll wait. Get max value. No Crackling Drakes. Land is good. So yeah, I think I want to go Innkeeper, play Falmar Knights. If they kill my Innkeeper, then I might Order of Midnight's one of them back. Could also just make him discard two, but it's not too effective with five cards in hand. Maybe I'm supposed to just play the Acolytes instead of the Falmar Knights. Alright, gets countered anyway. So I guess, yeah, now it's pretty simple. Just Order of the Midnights. Back my Innkeeper. We're doing okay. Would love to find a Lucky Clover at some point. And Narset's very good against us too, since that prevents me from drawing with uh, Innkeeper. Do have a little bit of pressure to take out Narset. So next turn I'm probably just going to adventure the other Beanstalk Giants, as to not waste any value from the Innkeeper. Three, and then I can also adventure the Reaper. And opponent packs it in. Wow. Alright, well... The deck's been uh, playing out quite well so far. Nice, we've got the Order of Midnight. Let's uh, update the deck once again. Sweet. And yeah, the sand seems fine. We've got the Innkeeper. If it gets countered or killed, I can still Order of Midnight it back. Otherwise, I can just cast a Swordmaster turn two. Opponent on mono green so far. Well, we've got lots of creature removal. And that's a very early concession. I'll take it. I guess your opponents really want us to go draft. All right, giant killer. So one left to go to get the brazen borrower. And yeah, this seems pretty good. We've got a turn two clover, turn three draw two with the Falmar knight. Plenty of knights for the curry favor. So my opponent could be on a green-white token, maybe adventure deck. And yeah, there we see intruder. So seems like an adventure deck and I don't want the intruder to kill my lucky clover. So I guess I need to disfigure it here instead of uh, drawing with the Falmar Knight. And then I get to play a Swordmaster as well. I can wait for my opponent to maybe use a Fairy Guide Mother to give the intruder flying and then I can respond with disfigure. There's a bit of risk involved here. If my opponent has two pump spells, then I might end up losing the clover. But we could get a nice two for one if they don't expect a disfigure. Opponent attacks. I guess I'll block. I'm okay if this trades, but if they use a pump spell, I can disfigure. Don't want to disfigure first. 
So, no pump spells were used, not an intruder. And a silver flame squire as a 2-1, so they did have the pump spell. I guess now I'll disfigure. Another clover. Well, I guess uh, I'm in. Gotta get our value here. I'm not gonna kill the squire unless they play pump spell on it. So this is without the adventure, just as a 1-1 one -one flyer. Alright. So maybe punished a little bit for not disfiguring. I guess I should have maybe expected this since I didn't adventure the guide mother first. But if they did, then the disfigure would have been a blowout. So now, I mean, the Falmar Knight checks the centaur, so that's not a problem. So do I kill the guide mother or the squire? Probably the guide mother. It's more of a long-term problem. So now I get to draw a three with the Falmar Knights. And this Beanstalk Giant is going to be amazing. So yeah, I can block here unless they give it flying or tap down my knight somehow. And then next turn I can Beanstalk, get three lands and still make them discard their entire hand with Reaper. Raise the alarm into another Convoke card, presumably. Alright, so they only have one card left in hand. So sadly the discard 6 is only going to get one card, but still good enough. Alright, their last card was another Squire. And then I guess I'll curry favor here. Alright, so I'm gonna take a bit of damage, but next turn we can start playing some of our big creatures to stabilize. And then the Reaper can start flying over. Alright, Tribunal, that's a nice one. Gets rid of the Giants. Not offering the trade for Squire and Swordmaster. So do I take two? Six total? Yeah, probably. Alright, Innkeeper's nice. So what are we looking for at this point? More Beanstalk Giants, more Innkeepers, Order of Midnight maybe. Yeah, there's another Beanstalk. Draw a card from Innkeeper. And a Reaper. No point in adventuring the Reaper, so I guess I'll just play land and say go. Don't think I feel comfortable attacking with the Reaper in case they answer the Beanstalk. But next turn I can. Alright, Shepherds. Just as a 3-1. That's manageable. So I guess I'll see what I draw first here. And then the Reaper can attack, I think. Opponent's got five lands in play, so they can top deck Flower Flourish for lethal. Unless they have it now and then draw land next turn. 
So if I send in one Reaper, put them to nine, then two Reapers aren't lethal by themselves the following turn. I either send in both Reapers or one, and then plan to kill them in three turns instead of two. What if my opponent does have a Flower Flourish? I think I should play it safe and just send one Reaper. My top decks at this point in the game should be better than my opponent's. So I shouldn't necessarily try to close out the game quickly. Right, another centaur. Land. So now it could even be risky to attack with one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if they do have a flower flourish and I attack with Reaper, I could be dead. So I don't think I can afford to attack. Now if they have a Fairy Guide Mother, that also represents quite a bit of damage. If they have another Pump Spell, I could be dead. Alright, we're down to two. And the Guide Mother represents a Tutron Clock by herself. Acolyte is just a redraw. I can make a bunch of mana first, I guess. But we've got all the mana in the world. Even better than a Dark Ritual. Cruelty, alright. It gives me a bit of insurance. So if I attack with one Reaper, I have five blockers, I'm at Virtual for life. So the two tokens would get through. So that would be lethal. But at this point, I don't know if I can play around it. I think I just send one Reaper here. Right. And then next turn... If I kill the Guide Mother, the two Reapers would be lethal. Alright, there's a land. Let's see if they have the Flourish. They do. So... I think I'm dead now. I can Cruelty the Guide Mother. But I think the rest is still just enough to kill me. So yeah, I waited one turn to play around Flower Flourish. That turn they had the Guide Mother instead. And then they had the Flower Flourish later. So it did not quite pan out. Had a few draw steps that didn't give us anything too useful. But yeah, pretty sure we're dead here. Take six, gain two. And that's game. Alright, GG's. We were definitely a favorite to win that one, but uh, didn't go our way in the end. Alright, this hand is okay. We're missing green, obviously. If we're up against a creature deck, we've got two removal spells, Clover, and then if I ever find green mana, we're off to the races. I think I can keep this. Right, turn one uh, Dismal Backwater, so the Disfigure and Cruelty are not going to shine. But uh, Lucky Clover should be quite good. Narsets. It's good against my Innkeeper. Finds Disinformation Campaign. There's a land, so... I could adventure the Giants and then play Clover afterwards. I think that's the play, instead of trying to play Clover first. And get everything in play in case they have a Thought Erasure. Playing Innkeeper is also reasonable, since that could pressure Narsets. And then here... I guess this figure can go. Keep an open mind. So we've got our value engines in play, but there's a thought erasure. Ooh, well. <laughs> Opponent's gonna have to discard six cards here. Taste of their own medicine. And there we go.
and there's our Brazen Borrower alternate art. So yeah, I think I would recommend this deck for anyone trying to play in the event. Would I make any changes? I think I like the current configuration. We've encountered a lot of those blue-black kind of controlling Narset disinformation campaign decks, and sure, this figure and cruelty might not be at their best in that matchup, but the entirety of the deck is pretty good against those grindy matchups with Clover, Innkeeper, and then Reaper and Beanstalk Giant being great value engines, Order of course as well, getting back all those creatures. So I think I like uh, the setup, and then against the aggressive decks, it's very nice to have this figure and Cruelty. This figure also very good in the mirror match, being able to kill Innkeeper for one mana is uh, part of the matchup as well. So yeah, that was pretty fun. So I want to thank everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.